Welcome to Cold Cap Club. This video is all about scalp cooling and wearing a cold cap in relation to afro hair. I'm specifically making this about afro hair because in my experience through the charity that I founded Cancer Hair Care, my NHS clinics and working with many many people with afro hair and all different hair types, when it comes to afro hair there can be some confusion. Um, amongst everybody actually, including nursing staff, about whether or not scalp cooling is or is not suitable for people with afro hair. So the long and the short of it is, anybody with any hair type or texture, including afro hair, can absolutely give scalp cooling a try. So that's the first thing for you to know. But the reason I've made this video is I just want to drill down into some of the kind of facts for you and give you a bit of information so that you can be more knowledgeable about making your choice to maybe give scalp cooling a go. So number one, when you, in order to have scalp cooling, you want to have your hair in the best condition as possible. And you need to treat your hair very gently through the whole duration of actually wearing your cold cap, having the treatment, and the whole of the treatment phase until you've finished your treatment. And what that means is if you're wearing um, any types of hair extensions or weaves, anything that's attached and bonded, whether it's with a glue or a knotting technique or any other technique, you're gonna have to remove that before you have scalp cooling. And the reason for that is it's gonna put too much tension and drag on the hair, which could be problematic and cause more hair to fall out because hopefully you've watched my introduction to scalp cooling and a video that I made about what scalp cooling is so that you understand that the whole point is to try and reduce hair loss during chemotherapy. So the key thing is if you're wearing weaves or extensions, they're gonna to have to be removed. That's my best recommendation to you. The other thing is if you're wearing a wig, you can wear a wig not at the actual time when you're wearing your cold cap, but afterwards. So if, if you want to for your style, if you want to wear a wig, that's fine. You've just got to treat your hair really, really gently. I just think that, that those points are really worth making so that as you make your decision, you know what to expect. Now, in this next conversation, I'm speaking to Claire Paxman, who's from the Paxman Scalp Cooling Manufacturers. And together, we just talk a little bit more about Afro hair and the detail of why together we think that it is suitable for people with all hair types, including Afro hair. I hope it gives you a little bit of confidence to maybe give it a try. Let's talk about afro hair. Yeah. There's some myths out there that people with afro hair types can't have scalp cooling, that it's ineffective, and as we know, that's not true at all. Yeah, that, uh, that's not correct at all. It doesn't determine your hair type or your ethnicity or anything like that. Um, scalp cooling can be successful for all uh, hair types, and afro uh, is one in particular, so um, we've had lots of experience of uh, of it working um, both individually but also as part of uh, part of our trials as well. So people with afro hair should know they can absolutely go ahead. Yeah. I know one of the concerns is that they won't get a good um, cap fit however because with the Paxman range everybody does spray the hair down yeah. um, with a water spray and then put a small amount of conditioner and then the way that the cap is made, it will pull that hair down nice and snug, so not to worry about the natural bouncy texture of Afro hair. Yeah, absolutely. And again, learning from yourself as well, um, that it is important that, yeah, there is that wetting of the hair and you may find you have to wet it even more, but then aided with that conditioner and then the cap fitting, um, it will definitely uh, be of benefit. So the thing for people with afro hair to know is they can absolutely go ahead and give cat scalp cooling a try if they should wish. Yeah. Not to cut the hair short, it's not necessary at all because the combination of a water spray and conditioner and the cap will make sure that the hair is nice and flat as it needs to be yeah. um, in order for scalp cooling to be effective. 